Hello everyone, Lily here. Welcome to my channel. And for those returning viewers, welcome back. And today I thought I'd jump on the hashtag that was started by a group of tarot tubers uh, who came up with the idea on a Discord channel. And I just thought I'd jump in because it, it looks fun. And the deck I picked for this challenge is the Moon Void Tarot by Stephanie Caponi. First question, why did you pick this deck? I picked this deck because I don't use a lot, a lot and I just thought I'd pull it out and use it for this hashtag so that we can get better acquainted. Next question is favorite set of minors. And I picked the fives just because of the unique perspective on it, especially for the five of wands here, um, which talks about creativity as opposed to competition. And also the five of pentacles here, um, which when I see this card, I'm thinking that uh, feelings of poverty can come to being stuck in a mindset. And I just thought this could, this was a, a good representation of that. And the other thing too is, well, as actually it's a feature of this deck, but you know what? She's alone. There's nobody else in the, in those cards with her. Next question is what card reminds you to relax when it comes up? And I picked the four swords, uh, because of the bubble bath. Um, what doesn't say self-care and relaxation than, you know, a bubble bath. The next question is your favorite representation of, in brackets, choose your own adventure. And to me, I decided to pick going on a retreat as an adventure. And I thought this represented that well, in the sense that, um, going away to a cabin in the woods is a nice retreat and a nice way to relax. And yeah, I thought that was a good card for that. What card shifts your perspective? I picked the strength card as a reminder that strength comes from within. Uh, this is another card that uh, goes away from tradition in a little, in a, in, in a sense, uh, because we don't see a lion, even though um, the meaning comes through. Next question is favorite animal that's represented. One of my favorite animals are cats, and there are a few showing up in this deck. And here it is. What is this deck's favorite book? I don't know how many people remember that book, but anyway, um, everybody in their thirties, I'm sure read it back then. And it's Bridget Jones diary. If this deck was to travel, where would it want to go? Paris. I mean, it's such a romantic deck. It calls to go to a romantic city like Paris. Which card would you hang in your house? Pick a room. The lover's card, and I would hang it in the bedroom. Or for anybody that's into Feng Shui, I would put it in the relationship, love relationship corner. Something that sets this deck apart. And it's the extra cards that came with it. Uh, for Black Diamond, Rose Quartz, and a Yes, No card. Uh, we don't see extra cards like these very often, but I thought they were a good idea. If the deck had its own collection, what would it collect? Roses, lots of roses in a garden, different varieties. What's the deck's signature flavor? Strawberry, because of the pink. 
What is the deck's gender? Definitely feminine. Again, with that, because of all the pink. The next question is the least favorite card and why? And I picked the Ten of Pentacles because I actually like the way it shows being rich in an understated way, I think, because it's, you know, it shows a, a nice house, which is obviously in a nice neighborhood. The thing is, is that the pentacles aren't that obvious. Although, you know what the thing is, is it took me several times before, several tries before I finally saw that they were in the column here, very small. Which card in this deck do you feel gives a unique spin on your regular opinion of that card? And for this one, I picked the tower. Essentially because in this card, with all the lightning bolt leaving, well, leaving her hands, you give it gives the impression that she's the one causing the disruption. Although, you know what, with the big ones, it could be the other way around. But the thing is, is like she's breaking apart because she can't handle the pressure anymore. So everything's breaking up. Which is often how we're told the tower manifests in our lives in the sense that it comes from inside us. We just do not recognize it or acknowledge it. And that's it for this uh, for this um, for this hashtag for me. I think I've answered all the questions that I wanted to answer, and I'll leave this here. Until next time, have a good day.